Hello cookbook lovers, this is Carrie with Cookbook Divas, and today I'm going to look through this massive tome, The Baker and Me, a huge baking cookbook by Daphna Rabinovich, a born baker, she says. It's apparently very, very scientific with methods and techniques that help you figure out why you're doing what you're doing when you're baking. Because <gasps> as we know, cooking is an art, baking is a science. This is really heavy. I'm going to try and hold it up without dropping it on myself. It came out in 2016. White Cap is the publisher. I'm curious to check this out. I think it's Canadian. The table of contents is introduction and forward, of course, then cookies, bars, and squares. Those are actually my least favorite desserts, personally, but all things chocolate. Oh, I didn't know a baking book would necessarily have chocolate. Ooh. Muffins, biscuits, and scones, quick and yeast breads, a cupboard full of cakes, pies, tarts, and fruit desserts. All right, let's get started. Here's the foreword. Barometers of success, measuring, testing for doneness, the greatest gift of all, basic ingredients, a few techniques, and equipment. So we're going to skip past this because it's important to read, but right now we're just trying to check out the cookbook. Lots of text, lots of... Wow, this is like a textbook. Okay, here's a page called A Damn Good Cookie. Oh, we must have started. My go-to chocolate chip cookie. And def and one damn good cookie. Passover chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip crispies. Not a lot of photos. Add in all-purpose cookies. Hmm, that's cool. Chocolate intensities. Double trouble chocolatey chip cookies. Okay. Here's a black and white photo. I'm not a fan. Okay, keep going. I wonder if there's a tea cake cookie recipe in here. Peanut butter cookies, coconut oat, chocolate oatmeal, etc. Shortbread, a few tips. I love it when they add special pages of tips into cookbooks. It really, really helps. Classic shortbread. I don't think I've ever made shortbread. Wow, chai shortbread, blueberry and white chocolate shortbread, double chocolate shortbread with pumpkin seeds and flax, etc. We're in the bars and squares chapter now. I'll just find a couple examples. Orange cranberry brownies, yum. How about chocolate chip cookie bars? Three nut brittle squares. Hmm. Here is pucker up bars, <laughs> yum. That's probably the first thing I'd wanna make. Caramel shortbread bars with a picture of some utensils, okay. Now we're in all things chocolate. Let me find a good example. Chocolate blackout cake, yum. You eat the whole thing and black out. No. Here's a chocolate bunt cake recipe. Here's peekaboo chocolate cupcakes. Ooh, here's a chocolate truffle pecan tart with spun sugar dome. That is a little advanced for my baking skills. This is something called my heads in the clouds chocolate cream pie. <laughs> uh, cocoa cinnamon meringue. Ooh, I have not seen that in a cookbook before. Now we're in the muffins and biscuits chapter, which I'll go through really quickly. Morning glory hallelujah muffins for cheerful morning people, which I am not one of. I'm a, uh, where's caffeine morning person? Sour cream blueberry muffins, blue baby muffins. Okay. And ooh, golden corn muffins. Yum, yum, yum. And ooh, I don't know, oh, butter. I got all excited because I saw a picture of butter. Buttermilk biscuits. Okay, and orange kissed scones with vanilla roasted plums. I don't have time to roast my plums with vanilla. <gasps> These look amazing. Strawberry almond scones. Gruyere prosciutto and chive scones. I must be in the scone chapter. Okay, quick and yeast breads. Let's check it out. Bubby's banana bread. Cornmeal pear loaf, spiced pumpkin loaf. I like making those. Here's challah which I don't usually try to make myself. Here's multi-seed bread that looks so good. Oh, yep, with marmalade on it. Sticky cinnamon buns. I checked because it looked like it said stinky. No, no, sticky. Cupboard full of cakes. Ooh, I'm very excited. I love cakes. Okay. Here's a cake, a uh, white cake with lemon something. Very tiny font that's in a light color. It's kind of hard to read. And not a lot of photos. Here's one, Passover chocolate cake. Here is Pavlova cupcakes with honey roasted strawberries. Food photography is a little old fashioned in this book, but it's still pretty. 
plum kuchen. Um, individual plum cornmeal cakes with rosemary. Here's a, don't know what this is because the font is so light. Apple honey cardamom cake, maybe? Yes, it is. Okay, there it is. That sounds delicious. Very autumnal honey cake. Pistachio lemon daiquiris cake. Oh, daiquiri, excuse me. <laughs> I just have daiquiris on the brain because it's Friday. Okay, cherry pancake, etc. Not a lot of photos. Getting to the next chapter. Fresh, this is gorgeous. Fresh fruit tart with short crust pastry. That would be fun to make and lay out. Double blueberry tart with almond. Not a lot of pictures. Here's one. Apple pie. A comprehensive book like this definitely is going to have an apple pie recipe. This is a fresh blueberry ginger snap galette. And we're just about at the end of this giant comprehensive cookbook. Yeah, I would have loved to see more pictures and a darker font, but that was very comprehensive. If you're just going to buy one baking book so that you make sure you have recipes on hand for cookies and bars and scones and cakes and fruit tarts and everything, this would be the one to do. The Baker in Me, Daphna Rabinovich, super awesome. If you'd like to see more of our cookbook look-throughs and reviews, you can go to the cookbookdivas.com blog. We post to Facebook and Instagram, and of course our videos go on YouTube. We also have a podcast for those of you that like to listen to that kind of thing, where we gossip about cookbooks. Thanks for watching.